There are lots of budding scientists out there, and then when we found out that there was a robbery about to take place at the Experimental Bank, we enlisted the help of Lena Gardens Primary School in London to come up with some designs to stop the stash from being stolen from the safe. Yes, here I am in the Experimental Bank. I have my safe here. Inside, I have my swag bag full of cash. Right, that's what the robber's got to get. Uh, good luck to all of our designers. We're going to start with the uh, magnets on the floor, which are there. So, Sylvia, good luck. Here goes nothing. <laughs> OK, here's the robber. He's managed to take the swag out of the safe. But those magnets are stopping him take the swag any further, but he manages to escape. OK, next up, it's Hope's net idea. Again, he's got the money. He walks straight into the net. And we've stopped him completely in his tracks. And finally, it's Tilly's treacle and feathers idea. Here comes the treacle. Very messy indeed. There's still the feathers to come. There they are. But I don't think it's going to stop him escaping with the money. So we started off with Sylvia's magnets, which created a force that attracted the metal. Now, although the robber ran off, the loot stayed behind, so it kind of worked. Then, of course, we had Tilly's idea, which was the treacle and the feathers. Very, very messy. Slowed the robber down, as we saw, but he did manage to run off and with the loot at that. And we also saw Hope's idea, which was the net. Very successful. Well done to you, Hope. The most successful, in fact, because not only did it stop the robber running off with the loot, it also stopped the robber in his tracks. Although the majority went for the old treacle and feathers technique, you did it, Hope with a net. How did you feel? Good. Are you glad with the outcome? Yeah. Fabulous. How did you do at home?